Hello everybody. Welcome back to SimCat 4. Few quick approaches. Let's begin. Stop whenever necessary. Pause the recording. Okay. So one of the first few questions of algebra. 1 upon x square plus 1 upon y square. We need to find that. And x is 1 upon y. So 1 upon y square would be x square. Ultimately, we need to find x 1 upon x square plus x square. Now, x is given to us as this, which can be simplified as a plus under root a square minus 1. So what would be 1 upon x? 1 upon x would be 1 upon a plus under root a square minus 1. Rationalize the denominator. Multiply and divide by the conjugate a minus under root a square minus 1. And the same thing, multiply and divide. So what do we have? The numerator becomes a minus under root a square minus 1. And the denominator becomes 1. So what is x plus 1 upon x? x is again, we remember a plus root of a square minus 1. So we simply have x plus 1 upon x is equal to 2a. And this is a standard result. We remember x square plus 1 upon x square will now be simply 2a whole square minus 2. 4a square minus 2. The correct answer is option B. We could have solved this question even by assuming a very good number for x. Oh, sorry, a. x is equal, let's assume a is equal to 2. So 2 plus root 3. So 1 upon x will simply become 2 minus root 3. And 1 upon x plus x would become 4. And the same process, 1 upon x square plus x square would become 4 square minus 2, which is 14. Try to put a is equal to 2 in the option and see where you get 14. Only one option. You could have even taken layers 3, 4, 5. Anything would have matched here. Anything good would have done. Anything would have done. Moving on, we have the fourth question in mixtures and allegations. Milk, water and honey are there in the ratio 7, 8, 9. We are adding milk and honey, no water. And the ratio changes. So ratio has changed but water remains same. Water should remain same. In the earlier ratio, previous initial ratio, the water is mentioned with um, connected with 8. And in the final one, 10. These two numbers should be the same. Simply take the LCM 40. Multiply the first initial ratio by 5. We have 35, 40, 45. And the final ratio by 4, we'll have 44, 40, 40. The obvious had to happen. 13 into 4, 52. This means if these are our numbers, we would be adding 9 grams of milk and 7 grams of honey. And 9 plus 7 would give us 16. But question says what you added, M plus H, 16 is not 16, but it is 48, which we simply know as 16 into 3. All we need to do is multiply all the numbers by 3. The initial weight would have been 35 plus 40 is 75, 75 plus 45, 120. So when we multiply 120 by 3, we get the final answer, 360 grams. Elevation mixtures, we can solve by two methods, elevation mixtures or trial and error or going by options. The average of the original people is A, original group is A, the new group is A plus 3 and the combined is A plus 0.375 which is 3 by 8. So simply do the allegation cross. A plus A and A plus 3 by 8 is 3 by 8 difference. And this difference we are supposed to do 3 minus 3 by 8 which gives us 24 minus 3, 21 by 8. So take the ratio, 8, 8 cancels out. 3 also cancels out and your 7 is to 1 and we have an answer. We could have gone by options. How to go by options? I check only one of them. Let's check the 13 2. Let's check the last option 13 2. This shows us that if there are two people in the new group, they come with an average which is 3 inches more than the current. 
So they have two, they have three extra inches. Two people with three inches gives us six, but we'll keep it as two into three. This six inches is now to be distributed among all the 13 plus two, 15 people. Everybody would get how much? Two by five, 0 0.4. The average should increase by 0 0.4, which does not match with the 0 0.375. So this gives us a wrong option. Had I tried the first option first, I would have assumed that there are there's one new person coming with three inches more to be distributed among the eight people, seven plus one eight. And this clearly gives me my three by eight, 0 0.375. So I would still have got my answer correct, the first option. How many times do the three hands, minute, hour and second meet? We already know that the minute and the hour and meet 11 times in 12 hours. Let's first understand 12 hours. How did we get our 12? What is the ratio of the speed of the hour end and the minute end? When the hour end turns once, the minute end will turn twice. All the speed is 1 is to 12. Uh, share it again, just a moment. The ratio of the R and the minute end is 1 is to 12. They are in the same direction. So 12 minus 1, they will meet at 11 points. This is how we could have done it. Now we can do the same for minute end second. The second end is 60 times as far as the minute end. 60 times, which means they can only meet at 59 points, 60 minus 1. Now, the minute and the hour and meet 11 times, the minute and the second and meet 59 times, the three will meet at the number of times, which is the HCF. HCF of 11, 59, which is one. That means they can meet only once in the 12 hours, only once. So in 24 hours, they would meet twice. Okay, so we have 7 kilograms of apricot, ABC, luckily, 13 kilograms of blueberries and 8 kilograms of cherries, a total of 7, 13, 8 is 28 kilograms. Now something is mentioned about the costs. <clears throat> 9 kilograms of apricot, 9A, let A be the cost of an apricot, ABC, is equal to 24 kilograms of blueberries. And that's the same as 16 kilograms of cherries. Remember, these are not the ratios. The terms of the ratio are in the denominator. Divide the whole ratio, whole equation by 144, the LC. We have A by 16 is equal to B by 6 is equal to C by 9. The costs are, the ratios of the cost is 16, 9, 16, 6, 9. So if the cost of the Apricots is 16x, the cost of the blueberries would be 6x and the cost of the cherries would be 9x. The total cost would be 112x, 13 into 6, 78x, 8, 9, 72x, which gives us a total of uh, 8 to 10 to 12, 1, 6, 2, 2, 6, 2x. Now let's work out something on the sales side. We already got worked out the cost. <clears throat> on the sales part, the question says P is the cost. We are selling everything at the rate P. But if 21 kilograms are sold at 20% above P, there is an extra profit. Instead of 90 rupees profit, we have a 300 rupee profit. So extra 21, 21 kilograms sold at extra cost of 20% of P is 210 rupees. So 20% of P is equal to 10 rupees. Price is 50 rupees. 
the price the selling price of the entire mixture 28 kilogram is 50 rupees so the total sales is 1400 out of which 90 is the profit so the total cost is 1310 we already found the total cost to be 262x so we have 262x is equal to 1310 and x is equal to 5 with x is equal to 5 we now need the total amount spent on blind blueberries which is 78 78 into 5 is our answer 78 being even simply divide by 2 and add a 0 at the end 70 divided by 2 39 add the 0 390 rupees is the amount spent on blueberries a little lengthy okay a wonderful way to solve this question a wonderful way understand the question okay so 30 rupees is earned by c out of the total of 480 rupees 1 by 16th of the money goes to c so 1 by 16th of the work is done by c which means a and b have together done 15 by 16th of the work now what we need all that we need is in what time would a and b have done the full work in what time and then multiply by 15 by 16. So simply multiply by 42 into 48 by 42 plus 48 directly write 90. I hope you remember this shortcut which has been taught to you in the classes. 15, 90 gives you a 6, 6, 48 gives you a 8, 8, 16, 2 and 2, 42 gives you a 21 days is your answer. The job was finished by all three in 21 days. A good question here on algebra. First thing we do is put this x raised to and down. Remember this is the square. So put it down. Bring that down in the denominator. So we are left with sigma n is equal to 1 to 100. n upon 1 upon x raised to n plus x raised to n. This is your key part. We want to maximize this value. We want to maximize this sum. N, of course, is a fixed value every time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All that we do is denominator changes. To maximize this value, the denominator must be minimum. The denominator must be minimum. When is the summation of a number and its reciprocal minimum? Yeah, what is it? The minimum summation is 2. The minimum summation is 2. So all we have is sigma n upon 2. We need to do sigma till 100. Sigma 100 upon 2. Sigma 100, if you remember, is 50, 50 upon 2, which gives us 25, 25. The correct answer is option B. A quite good question on algebra. So that's it for SIMCAT 4. Work hard, stay safe. We'll be back with SIMCAT 5. Work hard and stay safe till then. Keep working, keep revising all the things. Goodbye.